Brookville Branch Library. And I'm going to tell you about some ebooks that are available from Hoopla, which is a resource at the Dayton Metro Library's website. If you love everything Jane Austen and you watched all eight episodes of the Masterpiece Theater production of Sanditon when it was on earlier this year and raced out to see Emma in the movie theaters before they all shut down, then you need to try the books of Georgette Heyer. She wrote about 40 historical romances that are all set in the late uh, 18th and early 19th centuries. Uh, her characters are all upper class. The uh, repartee is witty, and uh, the plots involve miscommunications and misunderstandings that lead to humorous situations. I'll just highlight three of the titles to give you an idea of what they're like. In The Grand Sophie, a young woman is sent to live with her aunt's family after her diplomat father goes on a mission to Brazil. Instead of the shy little orphan that her family is expecting, Sophie turns out to be tall, self-confident, and ready to upend the lives of all her cousins. Georgette Heyer's favorite novel was Friday's Child. In it, a young lord marries his childhood playmate on, on impulse in order to gain control of his inheritance and to squander it. However, his, he spends most of his time trying to keep his inexperienced and young wife out of trouble. The best part of this book, though, is the, his trio of best friends. They steal every scene in which they, are, they appear. In The Black Sheep, Abigail Wendover is trying to keep her niece and ward out of the clutches of a fortune hunter. In this, she is unexpectedly helped by his uncle, who, turned, who has just returned from India after 20 years of exile. Abby's always been prim and proper, but something about this man just attracts her. Unlike most historical romances, the sex scenes in Georgette Heyer's books tend to be limited to kisses, and they are just at the end of the book. Also, she, with just a few ex exceptions, uh, most of her novels ignore the poverty and social injustices of 19th century Britain. But the, you read these books for the, um, the, the entertaining plots, the charming characters, and just because they're good escapist fare. By the way, Georgette O'Hire also wrote a number of mysteries, all set in the 1930s and 40s, which were contemporary to the time that she was writing them. They are also um, fun escapist books, but not quite as memorable as her romances. So all these are available anytime uh, from Hoopla, and all you need is your Dayton Metro Library card.